Hello, today I'm going to take you through the plumbing and heating installation in this new family home. This is a large property with some good features, but the real highlight is the heat pump system that I have installed. So let's take a look. As you will see, this is a substantial home with multiple bathrooms, a large kitchen and underfloor heating throughout the ground floor. Hallway room stat reading 19.8. Cloakroom on ground floor with disabled access. Utility room thermostat reading approximately 18 degrees. Dining area 19.5 degrees. Family room. Thermostat reading 19.2 degrees. Living room thermostat reading approximately 18 degrees. First floor landing, linen cupboard with thermostatically controlled radiator. Dressing room. Master bedroom oh, with a terrace overlooking the back garden. Master en suite. Bedroom two with en suite. A property of this size requires a well-designed heating and plumbing system to ensure efficiency and comfort. Bedroom 3 and en suite. Bedroom 4 with ensuite shower room. High quality plumbing is installed throughout, ensuring consistent water pressure and efficient distribution to all areas. Top floor landing and room stat at 19 degrees. Top floor very spacious storage area. Top floor games room stroke office. Bedroom 5 with ensuite. A property of this size requires a well designed heating and plumbing system to ensure efficiency and comfort.
and finally first floor room stat approximately 20 degrees. Now let's move on to the real star of the show, the heat pump. Here it is, the heart of the heating system, a Daikin Alferma 14 kilowatt air to water heat pump. This system extracts heat from the air, making it an eco-friendly and energy efficient way to heat the home. Unlike traditional boilers, a heat pump operates at lower temperatures over a long period of time, keeping the house warm without the high energy costs. I have tried to install all components to maximise efficiency. The heat pump is connected to the underfloor heating on the ground floor and radiators and towel rails on the two upper floors, ensuring an even heat distribution throughout the property. Here we have the hot water cylinder, which stores and distributes hot water efficiently. The heat pump ensures a constant supply of hot water without the need for an alternative such as a gas boiler. The underfloor heating system works perfectly with the heat pump. Each zone in the house is independently controlled, so the future homeowners can adjust temperatures room by room. From the Daikin interface, you can monitor the performance of the system. Here on the home page, you can see the temperatures of all the zones and the outside temperature. Here you can see I'm scrolling through the various options on the interface. Here, for instance, I've selected energy data. So I can check here the energy input and also the energy output. Two, three, one, four, three, nine, five, eight. If you haven't yet subscribed, I wondered if you would consider doing so. It is free and it gives incentive to create more content. Thank you. Tank temperature, leaving water, leaving water. One of the biggest benefits of a heat pump is energy efficiency. Flow rate, 30.6 litres per minute. Compared to a conventional heating system, this setup can reduce energy bills significantly and lower the carbon footprint of the home. As you may or may not know, after installing this air source heat pump, in very cold conditions, I encountered some freezing up issues. I was concerned these issues would affect the efficiency of the heat pump. The issue was that when it was very cold, the heat pump would go into the defrost cycle twice an hour. With the help of an engineer from the manufacturer, we identified two of the likely factors that were causing the frequency of the defrost cycle. After making the necessary adjustments, the system is now running smoothly and efficiently. I must stress that at all times the target temperatures for the rooms was always reached. This was even when the outside temperature went below minus 3 degrees centigrade. So the engineer from the manufacturers assured me that the freeze up and thaw cycle of the heat pump in cold weather is normal and the positioning and the clearances around the heat pump fulfil the manufacturers criteria. So the two issues that we identified was that the backup heater was turned off and there was debris in the strainer going to the heat pump. The backup heater was intentionally turned off because there was no requirement for a backup heater when the property was unoccupied. The debris caught in the um, strainer was non-magnetic. 
Had it been magnetic, the protection system on the heat pump would have arrested any metallic debris. So that's it for a quick look at the plumbing and heating installation in this large home. The heat pump system is an excellent choice for sustainability, comfort and long-term savings.